A few weeks ago, I uploaded a TikTok video that was a small snippet of a video I released a week or so prior, that being a LEGO Star Wars video. The clip in question, and the sole reason that the snippet was uploaded, contained me talking about how in the game there was a set of blocks that were placed in the shape of a penis. For simplicity's sake, here's the clip. I don't know why, I mean, I know why I remember it visibly. That was a penis... Why was it penis shaped? You cannot tell me that that was not penis shaped in the way that um, the in the way that the uh, boxes were stacked. It was 100% shaped like a dick. Oh, there's another dick shaped one. Hold on, let me get rid of the shelf. Yeah, that is absolutely dick shaped. Look at that. Got the balls at the bottom, <laughs> and then the. T oh my god. Now obviously when it was uploaded it flew on YouTube. When I re-uploaded it to Instagram and Twitter. It didn't have any restrictions, but TikTok removed the audio within a minute or so of me uploading it. Now, I am aware that TikTok does review your content when you post it immediately, as I've seen when I try to share it immediately after uploading, it does give you a notification that tells you that the video is under review. Now, of course, yes, in the 12 second video, I say the word penis as well as I say the word dick, like twice each, I think. This, for some odd reason, was enough for them to just mute the audio altogether. We are really in a position where this app is afraid of people hearing the word penis and the slang of it being dick, which of course has multiple meanings too, but I digress. Now those of you that have been with my channel for a while know that I have a huge bone to pick with censorship, and let alone censorship on something as simple as saying the correct anatomical names for things. In a previous case, I had a YouTube thumbnail that contained the character Alexis Sinclair from the game Sin, and it of course featured her very low polygon model and her obvious female figure on display. Now the annoying thing there is that the scene that the thumbnail comes from is literally in the video, but when I put it as the thumbnail, they remove it. Now I did a whole rant video about that, so you can go check that out here. And obviously there's no way to tell for sure, but I am entirely sure that that event did lead me to some sort of shadow ban on my channel. Because my growth had really stopped being linear at that exact moment, and honestly has not really recovered. I felt it, and it felt as though YouTube was penalizing me. Now back to the real subject here is I'm yet to see any type of punishment from TikTok, as I decided to go about a week or so without posting followed by this transgression, even though I don't view it as such. Now let's get into that. I obviously love reading through the bullshit rules and terms of service that every platform has, and though I don't think I'm ever going to get involved and be in trouble with the rules, I have found myself in there for the stupidest of reasons. Out of the many different categories in their community guidelines, I would say that the only one that I guess I could have violated is the obvious adult nudity and sexual activities tab. Now nowhere in this section does it say a single thing about actually verbally talking about genitalia or naming it. And a side note, who cares? Unless you consider me saying the word penis as promoting or glorifying sexual solicitation, I got news for you, this action by TikTok makes no fucking sense. Now we know already that TikTok is a cesspool, and the only reason I use it is to promote my content to a wider audience than YouTube can give me. I gotta be honest, it's say that I really don't use the app too much. I don't explore, I don't scroll through my For You page, I merely post on it, follow people back, that sort of thing. Now when I was perusing through the many categories of things within the community guidelines, there's a lot of emphasis on graphic content in addition to the sexual content I've already sort of touched on. Now it does remind me of an article I just read earlier this week from The Sun over in England talking about how a former employee is currently suing the company for how many graphic and pornographic clips are on the app and the trauma that it caused them. Obviously, it can't be a perfect app, and so people, like the accuser here, are forced to actually manually review stuff that is being uploaded. Some of which include videos of literal murders, sexual abuse, rape, torture, some even involving children. So with that in mind, and now that this information is being public through the law, showing on full display that TikTok has this much illegal and horrific content on there, they need to worry about that more than me just merely joking around and throwing the words penis and dick around on my harmless gaming clips. Worry about yourself. And lastly, there's also a huge amount of people who are banned for the most arbitrary and baseless of reasons. I discovered recently that when you want to dispute your community guideline takedowns, as was possible when I uploaded the video in question, you don't even get to explain yourself. You just declare that you want to dispute it, and then they go and deal with it. 
No way in hell are you going to win an argument when the ones who gave you the infraction are also the one that decides if it stands, and without even hearing one peep from you. How is that fair at all? I don't like to give YouTube credit too much, but at least when I've had problems, like when they removed a video of mine altogether on accident, at least I was able to explain myself. They saw the error and reinstated the video, no problem. At least YouTube is fair to that extent, but maybe not fair on a lot of other things. But it's amazing how many times I'll go through my followers or following list and see a ton of banned accounts on TikTok. Now I can't vouch for what they were posting or commenting because I don't know, and I do see a lot of bot accounts usually for like sex things. But if you as a platform are banning that many people where me, who doesn't even fully use the features the app has, notices that, you really got a huge problem here. Now just to add to all this nonsense, I did want to hear a first-hand account from someone that has been wrongfully victimized a few times by these arbitrary rule enforcements that give you no room to fight back. Here I have a buddy of mine known as Teriyaki's Tech, a jailbreak enthusiast and PSP reseller who's had a few of his accounts terminated for his conduct. I wanted to bring him in to provide some perspective. Here's what he had to say. Thanks again for joining us. Just wanted to get to uh, first-hand accounts on everything. I had a few questions about it, if you don't mind. So I do not mind at all. All right. So start off, just uh, give you a ballpark. If well, you might know exactly. Just how many times were you banned on TikTok before you finally just left? Two. Two. Okay. So two different accounts, and you had a third, right? And then you just gave up on the third, so it's still out there, right? Uh, for the third one, I'm pretty sure that it's still around i think it's teriyaki's tech actually i have not been posting that much but my content still continues to get taken down for whatever reason probably false reports and whatnot but i mean my followers are still you know kind of increasing each day not not that much so so y you have stuff you posted a long time ago that just arbitrarily gets taken down at random that's what you're trying to say yes so so they, they were cool with it initially because cause what I notice is like when I've had problems with my videos is, you know, immediately like if I try to share it after I upload it, it'll say like, you know, videos under review or something. Oh, and, yeah, I hate yeah. that. Well, that's fine. I get it. But the, I think the funny thing is that you will post it. They're cool with it then when they do their little bot review shit. And then mm -hmm. they take it down like months after. Okay. It's weird, but right. all right. I mean... The whole point of this is none of this makes sense, and so I don't know <laughs> Honestly, how to describe it anyway. So, uh, now, do you, do you remember anything particular that got you banned? Like, was there like a specific video or something that got you into hot water or anything? Um, well, people were false reporting my content, and my content was very harmless towards the app. The more reports, the more chances of me getting banned, pretty much. Yeah, so like shots on goal, pretty much. So. You got a group of, like, D-Gens out here that are just false reporting just for the hell of it. And, of course, they give in to that because they don't have a mind of their own. Yeah, so TikTok chooses to basically let the people dictate because they just presumably assume that if there's that many people, oh, they must be right. So it, right. You know, it shows no actual, like, character within the organization or the company or the the clown show that it is. But, I mean, so, so yeah, if, if, if it's... It, it's just like everything else in the world is the, the people that talk the loudest are the ones that get their way. So, exactly. so yeah, if the people that are, you know, getting your, your content taken down, talk the loudest then there you are. Um, and then also another thing I was wondering is, so how much of a problem do you think it is that anyone else who allegedly violates their guideline doesn't even get a chance to explain themselves or anything? Like I noticed that, when I had my audio muted in one of my videos, like, all I could do was basically submit an appeal. I couldn't type anything. I couldn't explain anything. So, like, wh what do you think about that? Um, personally, I think that this is something that TikTok's administration should look into because before TikTok guidelines were updated in 2021, we had a choice to submit appeals with strong words and characters in hopes to get our content that was falsely reported slash taken down and restored. And um, with TikTok's shitty administration team in charge, they have no care in the world for what you have to say. At this point, and I feel that this is very unfair towards the user because everyone deserves to have a voice, in my opinion. 
what it's like, I think to myself too, is like, I've had a video taken down accidentally by YouTube. And I mean, I hate YouTube too. Don't get me wrong. I think, you know, their policies are terrible too. But at least I was able to explain myself. If I right. get if I get a video that has like a content ID with like a video or like with a song or something that obviously I'm not authorized to use, I can explain it too. That like, oh, okay, it's fair use. I mean, everybody does that. But yeah, TikTok doesn't give you any. I didn't know that, you know, at one time you were able to submit an appeal, explain yourself, and now you can't. So they go back on that and just let people suffer, really. So Pretty much. I find that interesting that they went back on that because they probably had so many that they just said, fuck it, we're not going to go through these. You know, yeah, and you either you either dispute it and then they tell you the same exact thing because they're not going to just be like, oh, yeah, he's right. Uh, let me just put that back up. No, they're going to they're going to say if the bot caught it, then obviously it's true. You know, they're not going to put any effort forth. Why would they? So. Right. And then probably the last thing I got to say is, you know, so <laughs> it's, it's been very clear. and We've made it very clear in this that, you know, we all know that TikTok. Eh, TikTok, TikTok is <laughs> hypocritical as could be. Uh, but did you ever see anything that you would have deemed like way worse than your content that you were putting on, like things that were just completely, utterly terrible or horrific or anything like that? But that is still, or that went by no problem, and you were basically given the unfair shake. So I've seen females have clothes or not clothes at all, excessive women showing off their bodies like they have no respect for themselves, racial slurs and sounds and excessive amounts of serious bullying in which all three of those things somehow aren't violating the community guidelines, in quotes, all of a sudden. And if anything, if I were to describe my content I used to post, I would describe it as saying things that I truly don't mean towards others or like for views and more recognition obviously but you know just jokes but tiktok clearly doesn't allow that anymore which is quite childish and i feel like that it's very unfair of them to take down my content for no reason when there's far more things that i just described are still roaming around on this piece of shit platform that kids call amazing and fun i just say you know it's it's gotten to a point. I mean, you know, I, I hate to whole, I hate to go on that whole like uh, mob mentality of like, well, you can't be funny anymore. But like, you know, you know, things like things like what you were posting. Okay, so satire apparently just doesn't have a place on the app. Right. Like you can't be you can't be nonchalantly attempting to be funny without it being viewed as you know offensive. Now, obviously, there are things that you know cross the line. I don't think anybody's arguing that. But you know, if it's not crossing the line, then someone can just not like something. But instead, exactly. the, instead, the app decides that someone might not like someone something, but the app uh, administration has decided that they need to protect somebody before they see something they don't like. Like it's almost like a it's a police for the police, and that's what I've basically kind of determined here. And you've been basically able to cement that as the truth. So, you know, it's a perfect example. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you a bunch for uh, helping me out here with this video. I knew that you'd give a good perspective and. Uh, definitely i think will give a lot of light to what i'm really saying in this video you know so appreciate that and uh thanks again yeah no problem all right i want to thank teriyaki again for taking the time to chat with us if you haven't already definitely check him out hit him up he's an absolute legend who can get you some pretty sick custom gear like psps and custom controllers on screen here he's at teriyaki's tech on twitter and young teriyaki on instagram with the four and you can even also catch him live on Twitch sometimes at Teriyaki Gaming TTV. Now to conclude, I think I've made it very clear how nonsensical, hypocritical, and downright incompetent TikTok has become and is. Now given that it pretty much is the biggest app in the world at this point, I can't expect perfection, but you and I both should be able to expect at least a certain level of transparency that they purposely hide. That said, I will continue posting there. It's not like I'm boycotting it. I just wanted to voice my opinion from what I've seen. I'm a vocal critic of YouTube's policies and decision making too, so it's not like I'm just going after TikTok here. I find issue with both of these platforms. With that said too, I'm hoping as time goes on things are changed with TikTok, but I'm not really that optimistic. That's all I've got for today. If you don't already follow me there on TikTok, you can find me at Nvoyans there, and I want to thank everybody for watching, and more than ever, take care.